Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Today we're going to be going over a new series, uh, MS-DOS Basics. This will be Lesson 1, uh, base, begin with basic commands. The reason we're doing a DOS uh, series is DOS is still a very important utility for technicians. I happen to use it daily, along with Norton Ghost and other utilities, to maintain my lab of 30 computers. So we're going to spend some time uh, looking at some of the basic commands. Uh, internal commands and external commands. Now we're referring to the command.com. This is one of the three files in BASIC, command.com, io.sys, and msdos.sys, the three files that make up uh, msdos BASIC. The command shell, where we get our prompt, uh, there's about 30 plus commands that it can recognize. Uh, commands such as dir, uh, cd, MD, RD, there's quite a few. And then the external commands would be utilities that command com does not recognize but will run as utilities such as fdisk or format. Some of the basic commands, dir being a very important one to list files directories. Uh, slash question mark would be a help. Uh, every command that we have, we can use this uh, slash question mark to get additional information, such as switches or other uh, syntax that we need in order to run the command. Uh, the asterisk, so the wildcard, can be used with these commands, uh, like a filter. We'll give a demonstration of that. And then delete and copy are two additional ones. So let's come over here to our DOS, and uh, we'll run some of these commands and take a look here. First thing we need to do is uh, type CLS. CLS is a command that command.com understands, and it will clear the screen. First thing I want to do is type that DIR command. Now we've got a list here of all the files and a directory inside of our C uh, root. The directory is DOS. Uh, the three files, command.com, autoexec.bat, and config. We'll talk more about autoexec.bat and config in another series. Now, we can filter the types of files that are seen by typing dir. I'm going to go ahead and clear my screen again first. Type dir. Now I'm going to put a C with a asterisk behind it. And uh, you can see the only thing that came up was command.com and config.sys. So using the C, we can just look at uh, files that begin uh, with a C. Now we can also change this, and uh, we can type uh, dir asterisk, asterisk dot, uh, say, com, and we'll see all the files that end with dot com. And there's one, command.com. So the asterisk can be very helpful in finding files and filtering files. Now there's also another uh, command, del, which is delete file, but there's a parameter missing. I need to have something in there. So I'm going to create a file. Uh, copy space con and give it a name test. This is a little utility that's in command.com. It will create a file for us. And in this file, I'm going to put test, and I'm going to use control C to end it. Now you see one copy uh, one file has been copied. Now to verify that I've created a file, I'm going to type dir again. You can see there's a new file here called test. Now to delete test, I just type del, t-e-s-t, and that file has now been deleted. So if I type dir, you can see test no longer exists. Now if I want to copy a file, I need again put a name of it in here. So I'm going to create that file again, copy, con, test, type T-E-S-T, -E give it something, control C. Now I have that file in here to verify, type D-I-R, type D-I-R, and you can see test is in there again. Now if I want to copy that file, I can do a copy, test, and then I can place it someplace. If I just place it within uh, this directory, you'll see that it says file cannot be copied into itself. So I'm going to copy test to another name, test2. And now if I type dir, you can see I have created a copy of test, test2. So now I have two files. Now to delete those, I can use test with the asterisk. And that will delete all those uh, copies of test. So I'll type enter, do a dir, and you can see 
the two test files are gone. Let's look at some more commands. The next uh, commands we're going to look at are CD, MD, and RD. CD would be change directory, MD would be make a directory, and RD remove directories. I'll show you some examples of those. First thing I want to do is type CLS and clear my screen. CLS and I am going to make a directory. I'm going to call make directory. I'm going to call it test. To verify that it's made, I'll type dir. You'll see I have a new directory called test. Now if I change directories and go into test, you notice my prompt changes. I changed directory, went into test, type dir. There is no files in this directory. So in order to create a file, I can go copy, con, and put a test file in there. And I can type control C here, create that file. Now if I type dir, there is a new file called test in this directory. Now if I want to go back to the root, I can go cd backslash, and now I'm back to the root. I type dir, you can see I still have my test directory. Now if I want to remove a directory, I can go rd test, and it says invalid path not directory or directory not empty. In this case, it is a valid directory, but I have a file in there and that file was test. So let's remove that file. Go CD, test, and now delete test. Now if I type DIR, no file. And if I go back to my root and use that RD remove directory command, now it's gone. It accepted it. So if I type DIR, I've got my three files in my one DOS directory, and that's all that's in this particular root now. DIR again, you can see there's no test. So that was an example of those files, or those commands. So, uh, let's see. Review. Internal commands. We discussed internal commands. Those are commands that Command Comp can readily understand and execute. External commands are, are commands like F disk or format, we didn't see examples of those, but those would be like utilities that can be can be run. Activities. I want you to use Google to research your MS DOS internal and external commands, and we'll discuss this a little bit more. MS DOS Lab One. I want you to I want you to complete. This is the MS DOS commands, and then I want you to turn in the review questions at the end. Uh, MS DOS Quiz One, uh, basic DOS commands. I want you to complete that. You'll find that on Exam View. That's it for the first lesson. Uh, thank you very much for your time.